Hello everybody, Robert Phillips here, the rock and roll speaker, also known as the Funnel Man. I'd like to welcome you back to Step Into Your Future. That, of course, is the name of my podcast. And before we get started, uh, I would like to say, if you're getting some value out of these podcasts, please do me a favor and like and comment and share. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to really focus on the big picture and get this message out to as many people as I can. As most of you already know, step into your future actually has a meaning. And that meaning is that I want everybody to know that the only way you can step into your future is to get involved and start learning and mastering online marketing skills. Why is that? Because online marketing is the wave of the future. It's happening so many different places right now. And if you don't get involved, you definitely will be left behind. So please help me spread the message. You know, share this, uh, like it, comments. And if you need to get a hold of me, uh, you can also look at the uh, notes underneath the actual podcast here. And you'll see thefunnelman.com, and you'll also see Robert at thefunnelman.com. And so you can contact me in those two places. Now, if you would like to have a free consultation, then just go to thefunnelman.com, and the tab at the top will say free consultation. Just click on that, and I would love to uh, share my experiences with you and talk to you a little bit about online marketing. All right, everybody ready to rock and roll? That's good. So um, today we're going to be talking about transformation. You know, and that's exactly what it's all about. If you're not uh, used to online marketing, then it's going to be quite a transformation going from, let's say, a brick and mortar to online. So let's talk a little bit about transformation. Um, the first thing you need to know is that you need to work with what you have already. You know, so many people, they don't get started simply because they say, well, I don't have this, I don't have that, I don't have this, and I don't have that. You need to forget that. You need to start with what you have. In other words, uh, it's better to start with what you have than to wait until you get what you need. Why do I say that? Because a lot of times you will never start. You will never begin your online marketing journey if you wait for everything you need. Just start with what you have and then begin. So, have you ever heard this term? If your ship sinks, build another one. That's exactly right. Sure, you might fail at the beginning, or who knows, you might hit the ball completely out of the park. But if your ship sinks, just simply build another one. Simple as that. Now, what if you want to start all over again? Well, if you start all over again, don't just do the same thing. What you want to do is you want to expand into something even greater if you can imagine that. You know, expand your thoughts, expand your dreams, expand your objectives, expand your goals. When you do all this, you're just making yourself a better business person. So, you know, whenever you look at your business or the business that you're trying to create, there are some things that you might want to consider. So let's take a look at this. What needs to change? Well, whenever you step back and you look at your life, let's say you're trying to go from your brick and mortar to online marketing and you're really not sure how to do it. Well, why don't you first look at seven things that are good, seven things that are going very well for you in your life, in your brick and mortar business, and you know, really focus and be grateful for those seven things that are going good and well for you then. However, don't forget that you also need to take a look at seven things that need to change. 
Now see, what we're doing is we're kind of compromising the good with the bad and the bad with the good. But you've got to do that in order to see where you're at and where you're going. So remember this. The first thing to change is you. That's right. You've got to change first before anything else changes. That's how come I mentioned that you want to step back and take a look at seven things that are good and be very grateful about that. And then take a look at seven things that need to change. And believe me, there's always uh, something good and something bad in just about everything. So let's look at uh, something like uh, an open area. And then you have a hidden area. Then you have a blind area. Then you have an unknown area. Okay? In the shared area, you know, I hope you're following me on this. That's kind of an open area because you can share different things, right? And then what you want to do is there's some things that you want to share about your, yourself that are hidden. Uh, people really like to know where you came from. Uh, for example, um, I actually was homeless for a little while and I lived under a picnic table. And some of you already know this, however, I like telling the story because it's uh, absolutely phenomenal. I used to live under a picnic table and I won't go into great detail, but it was a, you know, a uh, phenomenal struggle. I know that's kind of a weird way to put it, but it was an absolute phenomenal struggle because I learned so much about myself. And so since that time, you know, I was homeless, living under a picnic table. And since that time, I have become a public speaker, a published author, and a pilot. And also something I'm very proud of is I have became an online marketer. And I love what I do day in and day out. So we were talking about things that are open that people already know about you. And then we're talking about things that are exposed. It's okay to share a little bit of your background. You know, I'm not talking about getting into your uh, deep, deep personal things. However, sh you know, share some things about yourself that not everybody knows. You know, uh, was I proud about being homeless? Absolutely not. Did it help me get to where I am today? Absolutely, it sure did. Number one, I never want to go back to that place again. So, you know, your, your business or the business that you're going to begin with online marketing, you know, treat that like, you know, it's going to be a, uh, a legacy for sure. You know, if you can get it going really well. And who knows, you may have a brick and mortar right now that is your legacy. But you have to remember that everything is going to online marketing. There's no doubt about it. So as far as your uh, customers go and things like that, you know, what do they want to buy? What are they passionate about? Okay. And if you don't know those things, and if you're not including those in your advertisements and your ad spend, you know, you definitely need to develop better habits. You need to create routines that drive change for you and your business. So what are you going to do? Well, why don't you start with creating a plan? Now, I hope, I hope everybody's with me right now. Let's just take a, a small little break here. Uh, I hope everybody is getting some sort of value out of this. And please like, share, and comment uh, whenever you have the the chance and uh, make sure that you follow me also uh, just just click the follow button and share and also comment and get involved with me here and really you know I really do love whenever people go to thefunnelman.com and they actually click on the free consultation tab and they set up a consultation with me and we can speak face to face on a Skype call and get to know each other a little bit better 
If you have any questions about online marketing or how to move from your brick and mortar into the online space, nowadays uh, a lot of brick and mortars are closing simply because they cannot survive without the online entity built into their brick and mortar. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that you have to leave your brick and mortar. I mean, you, you've probably spent a considerable amount of time and years and effort and blood and sweat and tears building this brick and mortar. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that you need to get involved. You need to start um, looking at different skills for online marketing because believe me, I guarantee you that you're going to need those skills really, really soon. So we were talking about creating a plan. So the first place I would start is I would start with a purpose. Have a purpose for getting online with your brick and mortar. Have a purpose of, you know, it, it can be anything that you have a, a passion for. If you have a purpose about going online, like who knows, it might be that you realize that you really do need to be online and you haven't done that yet. But if you get online, you know that your sales are going to increase, your customer count's going to increase, the uh, appreciation for your customer is going to uh, increase. Uh, everything is going to be a lot better if you connect your online with your brick and mortar business. So when you create a plan, you're going to start with a purpose and then you're going to kind of niche it down a little bit into specific programs, goals, and objectives, right? I hope this makes sense. You're going to niche it down to where it's not just one broad purpose. However, you're going to niche it down to specific programs and objectives. Let's say uh, you have an item in your store that's selling very well. However, you know you could really sell a whole lot more. Well, why don't you make a specific plan to get that item online and increase sales? And that is just the beginning because once you get one item working online, it's really no problem getting the rest of your merchandise online and selling on a day-to-day -day basis. And what about your ad copy? You're going to have to know about ad copy uh, content. You're going to have to know what attracts your customer. You have to know your target market. So I know you've, you've heard the uh, term of smart. I know you've heard that before because it's, it's been around for many, many years. If you haven't heard it, SMART stands for Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Relevant, and Trackable. So we've already talked a little bit about specific. Now, measurable, you know, you want to actually make sure that you have some sort of inventory control so you can measure the things that are going out and also whenever you resupply, you want to make sure that you know exactly what you have in your inventory. And is it attainable? Are your goals and objectives attainable? And you know, some people say, well, you need to set huge goals and all that. You know, set goals and objectives that are definitely reachable. Make sure that you are able to reach these goals. Sure, you don't want to set your goals low, but you don't want to set them so high that you know they are impossible to reach. So set them out of your comfort zone for sure, but make sure that you have goals that are attainable. And make sure when you're doing this that everything is relevant, everything uh, clicks together, everything uh, just thrives uh, off of being cohesive, if you understand what I'm saying. And then trackable. You want to make sure that you look at your analytics. How many did you sell? You know, what day did you sell these on? What hour did they sell? What time did people open your emails? What time 
did they um, get their refunds during the day? Believe it or not, all of this stuff is important. Your analytics, you want to keep up with what's going on with your business on a day-to-day -day basis and know exactly when and where and all the times that things are happening. Okay, and that goes for opt-ins and open rates on your autoresponders and things like that. For a moment, imagine this. Forget about the money. I tell you what, when I first heard about that, I go, how can I forget about the money when the money is all I think about? Forget about the money. Stop the trainings. You know, whatever you're trying to learn, stop the trainings for now and start the solutions. Step-by-step -step action plan is what you need now. Once you do that, okay, and I'm not saying, you know, stop the training if you're just beginning because you need to train, you need to learn, you need to get this online uh, uh, marketing skills going, all your online marketing skills going, and all that is going to take tremendous effort and online training and education, and you're going to need to do that day in and day out. Have you ever heard of the 30-30-30 rule? That's something that really helped me over the years, and that is you want to read 30 minutes a day. You want to listen to audio, and believe me, podcast. This that you're listening to right now is really going to help you more than you even know if you do it on a continuous basis. So 30-30-30 is reading 30 minutes a day, listening to audio 30 minutes a day, and I don't mean listening to your favorite songs. Listen to podcasts and things that are educational, things that are going to help you improve, improve your life and your family's life. So, 30, 30, 30, read 30 minutes a day, listen to audio 30 minutes a day, and do it for 30 days straight without missing not one single day. Can you do that? Try it and see if you can do it. Well, you know, I'll tell you what, that's going to go ahead and conclude this one. We were talking about transformation, and what we meant was we wanted to transform from our brick and mortar to the online space. And in order to do that, you need to learn some online marketing skills and you need to start today. You know, this is Robert Phillips, the rock and roll speaker, also known as the funnel man. And remember, step into your future actually means that you are going to learn some new online marketing skills because stepping into your future involves online marketing. All right, I hope you have a great time. Again, if you're getting some sort of value out of this podcast, I'd appreciate if you like it and share it. And please follow me and uh, put me a comment down there. And again, if you want to reach me, if you have any questions, or if you want a free consultation, you can email me at robert at the funnel man, or you can go to my site, thefunnelman.com. And you can click on the tab that says free consultation. I would love to meet you and talk with you. All right, here is another episode, uh, episode down. And I appreciate you listening to this. Stay tuned because all I'm going to talk about is online marketing things and things that's going to help you flourish for the years to come. All right, thanks a lot. Have a great day. Talk to you on the next episode. Goodbye.